Good night, guys. Josh, you hope you guys have a great day so far. Got a few of the guys for like panel and stuff like that in chat today. We're just lurking around. And we're going to be playing some Pokemon today because I'm not sure what I want to do today, okay? So I'm just like, I'm going to play some Pokemon, okay? Mm -hmm. Do not smell. Well, it's sealed in a packet. I don't Is it think bad? it'd be wise to open it and try one. <laughs> Ooh. I dare ya. Okay, it sounds I'll up. It up to you. I'm I'll be okay. Happy to. Where's their stream kit not up? If Mano was in hospital, I would have sent him to him hospital. But he's out now, so you know what? Just put them through your back door pan, you know? Just stop them all up there. Bit of endo. Yeah. This is weird. The stream kit's not coming up. I think it's vegan. <laughs> contains traces of meat. Other there they are. Protein meat. Yeah, well, it contains every, traces every of other meat. Every, every other bit <laughs> lips, of meat. Lips and anuses. Interesting. Pretty much. Tastes good, though. Interesting to say that, just as I open up and start. <laughs> But you like lips and anuses, Josh. No, no, I'm just not streaming and I just get that from that. I'm just like, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's just open up. Hi, Ron. Welcome to Lips and Anuses. Yeah, yeah, clearly. Welcome to the light show. What are we talking about? Topic of the week. Only hands. Only hands? Only, only hams. hams. Oh, yeah, let's make it an only hands. Only steamed hams. Nothing but the hams. Oh, crap. I'm waiting for Christmas hams, to be honest. Oh, you talk about ham, I talk about hand. Oh, well, now I'm thinking about ham, so. Yeah. Well, that's, you know what? That's, that's what I said, only ham. Christmas hams are really nice. Focus that. Ham off the bone when you get one. When they last forever. Oh, yeah. Off, and then I'll pepper. see what we get. Yeah, Kepler get berries. That, get that wet, bloody, like, almost as well. In the old days, with the tea towel. But now you get the handbags. Okay, we're getting a, a lot. We're getting a lot of berries at the moment. Cut a bit of meat. And all the different kind of marinades that you can Dude, do. Dude, man, I got so many packages. Like look at these packages I'm getting. Fantastic. Tell you what, I just love leftover Christmas ham in like a sandwich with like pickle or something. It is pretty good. That's what we need to buy. We actually need to buy a lot of hyper potions because I was ran out. Yeah, I was going to say, I ran out of them. Oh, it makes me excited for Christmas. Oh, it's yum. Okay. This is going to be the worst part because I'll be versing. Tam, I'll be versing, um, yeah, what is it? I'll be versing Bingo. You just cut it. I'll be versing Surge. And uh, with Surge. I think my Pokemon is severely underleveled, and also my highest level Pokemon are the ones that are weakest to uh, most of Surge's Pokemon. So they're gonna be dealing with like uh, Lightning Pokemon, so Lugia versus Lightning. Yeah, probably not a good idea. And then you got Gyarados against Lightning too. So it's gonna be uh, a very, very interesting start today. Um, I believe you have to challenge a gym leader before you can move out of here. And ah, shit, I'm in a bit of trouble. Okay, I'll go to the Pokemon Center. It depends, but if you go and do, as I mentioned before, the um, Ishgard zone, there's, yes. a spe there's a specific zone that you go into and you just go around and We also got to do Sabrina as well. Oh, that's right, it's the, uh, um, yeah. Very set, like, basic um, gatherables, and that's how you'll speed level your oh, okay. crafting. I'm the fishing dude. Go, I thought he was going to give my give me a super rod. unique thing that's in your journal now. Yeah, you'll bankrupt yourself. He wants to get the biggest matcha cup ever, okay? And what do I need to do? Closing armor for, for sages and stuff. Is that Weaver? Would you like to? Okay. Yeah. you need it now or are you thinking this week you want to do an end game and what you want to make money off? I don't know. I think having an armor on the Weaver is great if you just play other classes and you know, can just craft yourself some armor. So you're thinking at endgame, Let's go. wait until you get to um, Heaven's Wet Expansion then. You're almost there. I am, I think. I okay, am. let's... I'm in Nishgaard. Oh, so you know the funny part is? Is you know this guy? 
unlocked. Ah, uh, this guy here. Um, the firmament. You know, from the last game, you know how he was preparing the land. When you unlock he has no money now, okay? But you can get Shuckle in here, just okay, by rock smashing. Like four different mats, spam, there we go. Armoring, and that'll get you up to 80 really quickly. As soon as you hit 80, I think that's Shuckle. No, it's Diglett. And that's where you'll do either, I mean, you're not going to be in Walker, but you can do Green Company handy. Okay, well. with Diglett, I do not want to take it out. I do want to catch Diglett. I don't know why it made like a legendary Pokemon noise. I got a legendary Pokemon. So I definitely did it. It's like, it's like I can see right now, it's, it is like, um, who is it? Raikou music, okay? Like when you encounter Raikou and Entei. It's just really, really weird. Well, it's just for a grateful weather. There you go, Diglett. There you go. Like from the, from the quest, not from just as that was a good level. catch. Um, but you can ham it out with um without needing necessarily those. You, you can just go back and do the quest line later on when you can one shot. You don't get to do it. High quality and perfect the item that you need to hand in, or you can buy. There's no money to start the project, just to march up to break the land. Okay. So, I think I took the uh, XP share off it. I gotta say right now, Surge is actually quite difficult, okay? We might be in a bit of trouble here with Surge. Let's see what we can do, because I think Surge's Pokemon are all like 45, 47, I'm not sure. And uh, the high level Pokemon is uh, a Gyarados, which is weak to lightning. And also a uh, Lugia, which is weak to lightning. But anyway, this is okay, this is the funny part about this gym. Uh, in the original GS, the gate didn't work. Okay, the gate didn't work, so you can challenge Surge right away. But in this game, they fixed it, okay? But the uh, thing does work. <laughs> this is a duo battle, by the way, which you can manually start. Yeah, let's see what we got. Ooh, it's a six on six. Uh, I think I've got, yeah, I was going to say, I think we stacked up Lugia, I think, yeah, okay. Hey, Dan, I didn't realize they, um, named a quest after you. Um, Lava Plume, does that hit everyone? It does. Uh, Thingo, we can use Fly, because it should be quicker. And, uh, yeah, we should use it on Electrode. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, that was good. <laughs> uh, that could do a bit of damage, actually. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lugia will fly, Lava Plume will hit everyone. But Lugia. There we go. And then Lugia's fly will hit Electro. Electro probably Thunder, or no, they use Helping Hand. Ooh, that's... Oh, dude, he's gonna do another Swift, isn't it? He could do Thunder, actually. Desperate time. Desperate time. Ah, there we go. Okay, for those men, what's up? Yeah. So, Electro should be taken out here, potentially. No, Electro won't be taken out because it's not very effective. We'll fly. But Lava Plume will take it out. Oh, dude, I hit Static. Oh, we'll try harder than Darby. Ooh, what happened? Well, Electro's down. Just making sure Electro didn't self-destruct, by the way. Because like trade and self-destructing is pretty common. Don't know about a dead one though. There we go. I will not surrender until I can survive Premier League. Are you surviving Premier League or is it or is it surviving you? I won championship with 105 points. Ooh, that's pretty good actually. Oh no. I made it to Prem and down pre-season. Ooh, great work. Oh, no rollout. I hate this move. It's pretty fun. It's um... There we go, take a chill here. With my striker only having 11 goals. Yo, you've got this. 11 goals, I believe, okay? You've got this. 11 goal striker. Easy. Piece of cake. Snooks is 40. There we go. Wait, does that other trainer not have any more Pokemon? 
Oh, damn, we took out another Electro. Jeez. My Lugia is like cleaving it up. Please stop for a wet. Oh no. My wow, three strikers are two men, new circles. He's just gonna score more than my backup. New strikers scored. Okay. He's got a hat trick in his first game. Damn, that's actually pretty good. Not gonna lie. Oh shit. Yeah, my Lugia's dead. Oh no, Lugia has a really high special attack and defense. Oh, she shocked by my Typhlosion? That is a big mistake. I'm gonna shock waving my uh, Lugia. Lugia's flying psychic, by the way, if you don't know. Dude, usually we share ports, like. But then it's we'll the, uh, the and then We can't burn Shoot the Whip because it's paralyzed. Myself. There you go. That's weird. Is they hitting the Lugia? Okay, good. In the back of my condemned into turkey football. Wow. Wow, that's mean. Has he recovered from turkey football or no? Okay, that's gonna be the Electro taken out. And my main strike, I had a few between the swords at Aberdeen. So you sent, you sent him, you punished him by giving him Scottish football. Ooh. I'll probably get myself static here, like a dum dum. There we go, there we go, static. He didn't want to send out the Magnemite because he knew he was sending it out against a uh, two cat two. I don't know, I just threw him in Turkey and I said bye bye, just like Deli Alley. Oh, dude. Poor Todd. Why do they keep. I can figure it out. Why do they keep attacking my Typhlosion with lightning moves? Oh, I gotta freaking soothe him. Just, just an FYI, by the way. Uh, just an FYI, uh, three letters. Uh, Lugia is, Lugia is uh, weak to lightning, okay? Weak to electric. This is the second time. They've used, uh, used the lightning ability on my fucking top lotion who isn't weak to lightning, okay? Real sad, Delhi fell off so hard. Yeah, he did too. And they sent him to, what was it? Uh, What's the point of that? Real Madrid, right? And then Real Madrid, like, said bye bye to him as well. What? Having to soothe someone. And he's actually, he's actually saying, like, you know, oh, you have to soothe me. By the way, guys, like today, I just wolfed down my pasta. I was a surprise I wolfed down my dinner today. I was expecting a you slow dinner, me. but I wolfed it down. And I'm like, sitting there going, damn, man. To be fair, there's been a lot of like football players that have fallen off really, really hugely as well. Like he was transferred to Everton for free, still couldn't do shit. And he went, learned to besiege this. Oh, damn, he did really fall. But there's been a lot of players that have fallen quite hard. Oh, by the way, guys, as well, I ordered a new mobile yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but the day before. A gang of Pixel 6A. Because I was like sitting there, okay? I was talking to like some buddies at work, okay? And I'm like, yeah, my phone's still a Samsung 7. And they're like, dude, they've released like 15 versions since you got your last phone. And I just realized it had been about, uh, it'd been about eight years since I got my new phone. And I'm like, oh yeah, better, better, better upgrade, eh? <laughs> so we're getting a 6A tomorrow. And there's the earbuds as well, which cost about like a thousand bucks. So half my fortnightly paycheck. Like if you were Tottenham fan turn 15, that Deli Ali would be sort of episode free. You think you're insane? Yeah, definitely. I remember. I remember one of the people I know used to be heaps hyped about Deli Ali, okay, and how much she loved him and stuff like that. As well as Harry Kane. Harry Kane, battle again. So now that you've done everything, Zav, what do you actually do? Oh, I haven't done everything. Like since I've come back, there's been main quest stories that have come out, a whole bunch of shit. Um, you'll have leveling bolts, leveling crafts, money making exercises. Um, you might just want to do raids and dungeons with your friends, like there's so much shit to do here. I'm in the process of looking to buy a Friend of just getting, getting the Zack, really? From Leicester? Oh yeah, because Leicester... Yeah, 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 I was gonna say, Leicester playing like absolute fucking garbage. Yeah, no, I, I realized I'm like, why is he in the sound? I'm like, oh yeah, let's just like bottle the fucking Premier League at the moment. Um, we're all of the opinion that housing 
Like, let me let me see the ladder. Is Leicester still bottom? Oh my shit, it's just Spurs 6-2. To be fair, it's at Spurs is home. Did they have a red card? Oh no. Yeah, that, that, they get, he's getting the sack, okay? He's getting the sack. Sun Human scored a hat trick in fucking 13 minutes. Yeah, let's City up bottom. That's right. They've not won a game. Oh, yeah, he's getting the sack. He might be, he might be facing the sack. He might be facing the sack, okay? No way he's going to get away with that one, okay? No way he's going to get away with that one. United, though, I gotta say, United are doing really well, okay? Like, everyone in the start of the season is like, yeah, United probably gonna, you know, lot, like, you know, get 6th place, 7th place, not gonna do anything. But they're doing quite well, like, you, you mentioned United are doing quite well, okay, considering everyone's like, yeah, they're not gonna do anything this season. I mean, after the first two games where United lost to really shit teams and then beat Liverpool. <laughs> Like seriously, you know the most ultimate troll team in the Premier League. It's just like you know, lose, lose to fucking Lee. No, no, was it? Who did they lose to? I'm trying to remember who they lost to. Lose to Brighton and Brentford, beat Liverpool and Arsenal. I, I, I just love that you know, lose to lose to Brentford and Brighton, beat Liverpool and Arsenal. Okay, yeah, exactly. It was just so, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it because I woke up at like 3 a.m. and I looked at the scores. I'm like, United are winning 2 nothing against Liverpool? Like, I was like, how? Got the fourth, the manager got a better job and left. Oh, of course, like, I assume Chelsea picked them up. That, I guess here right now, that was always going to be at that, uh. <laughs> you just said listed all the stuff. Right yeah, I was going to say. They sacked, they sacked two show. I, I do not get Chelsea at all, by the way. Anyway, nice like I really us. don't get Chelsea at all. They sacked two show and then they uh, pick up a uh, new bye. dude. This is a weird one because it's dead center. Throw me the slab. Slab's all done now. Meadow? Yeah, frame's coming on Monday. Oh, okay, so it should be here. When's the last completion date? Craig in the second is Chris Cookie's lamp, but no way he's gonna survive as long as lamps when lamps is in Chelsea. Thanks, Joe. Uh, you know. I actually do remember all the videos that Four Four Tunes did no, when lamps was at Chelsea. Stuff. It was pretty good. Anyway, we we ready for Lieutenant Surge, guys? The also us to I never lost the battle because I was happy like I do all my enemies in battle. Great. He's good. This guy is good. Oh. Oh, they want to finish him, uh, they want to Fucking Ju- I'm Duke Nukem. They don't want to drag it. Ah, uh, his right shoe will spam double team, okay? Also, by the way, 51. All you have to do is right shoe is just hit it, okay? And also, let's mention oh, all these Pokemon are higher, like... Yeah. If we get a crit with Lava Point, which is unlikely, we might be able to kill it, but I'm gonna say yeah, right now, right shoe is gonna spam true. double team and just cool. beat the crap out of us, surely. We need Foresight. We Foresight will be really longer. strong here against uh, yeah. Raichu. Yeah, well, that's where my main is Wow, well, lockup's still pretty empty. But yeah. Does yeah, Lava Coin be... always hit or something? It's hit twice. Oh, yeah. Shockwave is the new attack that they have. Which I'm trying to bait out a. Uh... I'm trying to bait out a Hyper Potion. I did lockup and I pre programmed my lock. I was going to send out my Lugia, but I don't think it's a good idea to send out my Lugia. <laughs> if we get a bird here, Raichu's dead, and he won't be able to uh, restore it. it oh, it crits instead. Okay, sweet. Oh. We got rid of the Raichu, okay? We'll have to switch out Snooks, though, because he can't. He won't be able to go to the next Pokemon. Okay, he's about to send out Electrode. Electrode is the fastest Pokemon, one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. 
Uh, so if I'm gonna send out anything, uh, it has static as well, so I'm gonna be very careful wow. with it. It is. To not use any contact moves. So I'll yeah. send out the Weeping Bell. The problem, at least I've got I've managed to keep managing to get my good players. Mm -hmm. I was meant to have access all the time because I had need to have access to my sheds. So I get the stuff. Oh damn, his right shield was the strongest, I guess that's fine. Outside work and that sort of stuff. It's always a good thing actually to keep all your good players. I had a huge prospect that was developing really well. Chill 2 came knocking with 10 mil, couldn't refuse, oh no shit. If we get a poison here, this will be huge on the electrode, because the electrode will definitely faint if we get a poison. Oh, we get a crit instead. If we get a poison here, it's even better. Razor Leaf, I believe, cannot miss. I think that's the case. Razor Leaf cannot miss, I'm not sure. And Razor Leaf has a higher chance of crit too. If they can yeah. get away with it, they will. It doesn't matter whatever trade. If they can get away with it, they will. I just can't believe the states they left the bathroom every single time. I don't know how someone taking a shit can leave so much fucking shit behind. KFC, mate. That's what I'm gonna say. KFC was a bit, the single box was a bit uh, rough. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone knows what a toilet brush is. Toilet brush? Never heard of her. <laughs> just, just, just like, God. And even just leaving on the street, they'll eat their food on the street, just throw it in the Not garden. very effective. Charge Beam's really weak as well. Oh no, that's why he gets special attack from Charge Beam. Yeah. Oh, a fucking there we go. We got rid of the Electrode, we got rid of the Electrode, that's good. I mean, it's so lazy. There we go, Electrode goes down. The new thing is, they just that little bit, like, actually picked up, up after themselves. There we go. It would never be an issue. Like people just go. Oh, we yeah. go. We got another electrode, dude. But this kind has. So this like, kind has two electrodes. Drag friggin' mud through everything. Leave their rubbish everywhere. They leave and there's all rubbish on the next trip and stuff. I'm starting to question whether double team works or not as a Pokemon, because like he keeps it, 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 putting his evasiveness up, but I keep hitting him with moves. Okay, it's like, does this move actually fucking work? I used to work between. Oh no, it's some of the shit thing. Fuck him. Because I was, it was pretty much on my way home. Well, it was, directly. This is a shit yeah, thing. It means yeah, I have to I'm use contact moves, moves, and if I have to use contact moves, I'm gonna get paralyzed. Well, you can't. They're just freaking. The builder doesn't do all oh, just. Builders like Kishin Undies. Rough as shit. Please all get poisoned. Nice. Please get poisoned. Yes! Finally. We're gonna live with our neighbors forever, you know? The reason why I use Razor Leaf here is that Bait Razor Leaf is not a special attack. Sludge Bomb is a special attack. It's like when the um, blasters were there. They and Razor Leaf can crit too. Flying down on the plaster wall. Come on! Oh no! Well, we use a half potion here and we can build. Really? Oh yeah, lights pricks. Uh, they have acquired, they just just milk everything. We should so I'm I'm trying to debate would do I switch out to you, know? you pay twice. I'm trying to think, do I switch out? I think I should switch out because he he will use his finger. Yeah, we'll switch out to Marchoke. No, I thought that we were gonna use the hyper potion. Oh wow, he's gonna attack me. Oh well. I didn't think he was going to attack me, I thought he was going to use the Hyper Potion. I'd like, I'd like to do a leveling roulette on my tank, but other than that, I don't care. Okay, it's a freebie. I thought he was going to, uh, anyway, we'll take that. Electabuzz. Ooh, Electabuzz is static. We use Revenge, because it's good. Because like the bus will 100 percent attack. Shockwave could kill me, but if it doesn't, revenge will hit really hard, I think I. Please live, please live so I can revenge him. This will hit very hard, by the way. And we get paralyzed for it. I won't be able to survive next turn, by the way.
Well, we're in a bit of trouble, actually. We have no real Pokemon we can switch out to. I don't want to switch out into a Lugia, given that he will use Shockwave yeah. immediately. Yeah. He'll get static. Yeah, it's gonna say. <laughs> Me. He's gonna get static, Danny. Oh no. Please hit yourself and take yourself out, please. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> Reverse is sending or so into the transfer ballot I had. Oh damn. That is pretty good. That's what you should do when you sell like a really, really good player is just reinvest it back into your team. So I had to laugh at that one. That one was That one was pretty good, okay. I've ne I've never had a Pokemon do that to itself before. Take itself out through the confusion. Uh, I'm in trouble here because uh, Typhlosion is going to get hit for a bit of damage. I just have to live. Have you got the roulette option? Dude. I mean, that shouldn't take me out, but I don't know what to think anymore, okay? Lava Plume should kill it, one shot. Because just an FYI, Magneton has no defense whatsoever. Oh, no. Might make it turn your F service play MSQ again. I guess they, I'm going to be switching to Raph, I guess they right now. Probably going to be playing Raph Lich King for a bit and see if I can start up some viewer raids. But I can't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even, I gotta say right now, I'm not even too sure where I'm going to go at the moment, okay? Like, I know one thing for sure. Yep. I'm not playing Lost Ark, okay? What you, That's all you need to know. I'm not playing Lost Ark that much. Like, this week could be my last week of Lost Ark, okay? Which it really, really sucks because, like, I've made, like, this is the worst part about, you know, my Lost Ark stuff. I have made, like, my YouTube channel has grown, like, so much because of Lost Ark, okay? And now I just, you know, we've wowed, like, how do I make YouTube content out of it? Like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a crazy thing. Yeah, that'll be pretty quick. By the way, we beat Lieutenant Surge, okay? Got Bobby from Fulham, got Phil Jones. I would love to take a healer so we can instant queue if you ever go back and forth to 14. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe I should have leveled a tank or a healer, but yeah. That'd be good. We'll do that and do something else. Got a knife badge, by the way. I just want to relive the MSQ. I gotta, I gotta say, some of the MSQ is really, really good, but it's such a... I gotta say, like, the, the cutscenes are exciting, but the uh, the quest right. itself is well, not I'll exciting. This one, and then we'll go, I'll switch over, and I'll practice my dancer. That, that's what I'm referring to, okay? Mind. Like, everything, like, the, the cutscenes well, are exciting, a but the uh, other stuff you, isn't exciting. Just go straight to higher level, only like, the quest. Like, you know, like, you know, go to here, go punch, uh, you know, two people. That's it. Well, there's Sage at 70, but you're not 70, yeah. Okay, sweet. We got, we got one. We got one badge, okay? To be fair, I gotta say, like, despite being, despite, despite being severely underleveled, oh, this guy, Phil may not be good enough for many now, but he, dude. Oh, I remember with Phil Jones. All I remember with Phil Jones is the fucking faces he pulls, man. The goddamn faces he pulls. I'm two. I'm 64. Yeah. When did that fucking happen? Yeah. I'm 69. Like absolute fucking right. horror, man. Yeah. Sure. Great number. Can you relive the MSQ through the chamber, like the cutscene through the chamber? Like this memory chamber or something like that? That's what someone said. Like if you want to watch the entire story, you can watch clips of it. Yeah, what am but I'm not sure if that's uh. All right. You can, but I forgot to help a friend at the same time. Okay. Yeah, that'll be alright. I don't care. You guys I was actually debating whether to play FF14 today oh. or play, uh, like, Pokemon. And I'm just like, Because I'm casting CSGO. I'll call him Kirk Cousins. So you, so when you get to the red zone, you'll throw, like, two interceptions. Is that is that what you're fucking telling me? Okay. 
66. Dude, he yeah. is actually the most mediocre player. Like, he just probably he sums up the Vikings in a nutshell. And I'm not even joking. 60, 60, and 2. <laughs> Fucking God, man. So is everyone in the role they want to do? Yeah. yeah. I'm headed out on a picnic. Do you want to know why? I don't know. Well, you, you know, you know, you know how dead this Pokemon is. Okay, this is moments before disaster for this poor Pokemon. Okay, let's press A. Okay, let's say a prayer for Shuruby. Because it's dead. See, we see the prayer. You sent out a grass Pokemon against Typhlosion. Oh my! Boom. I knew it. You know, the one time we need a healer. <laughs> Okay. I'm one level off 70, so you know, first things first, we gotta go to the right, okay? So since you play somebody it's only Josh and TV, it is. You might find Sage bit. Ah, uh, we gotta go to the right, I believe. Sage is... It's powerful, apparently powerful on the right hands. Because we're gonna kill these... We're gonna take out these trainers to the right. Oh no, the, the Snorlax is at the tunnel, okay? We don't have the poker flute, so we can't waste to come up. No, Use Jose for this? I would be a fighting Pokemon, actually. We gotta go upstairs, okay? Let's go. Uh, we gotta take out the twins, okay? Oh, damn. These two little girls are gonna knock us out, mate. Maybe it's not the right thing to start with them. Yeah, white mage is probably the best bet. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. There's plenty of herbs. Okay, cool, we'll use Lava Plume and we'll use... That's my last one that I'm getting tonight. Uh, we'll use Extra Sands through one of them. Yeah, I started one yesterday. Played it for about 30 minutes. Basically, plus little mining are meant to like be like, uh, basically like Pikachu, so okay? You know you level, By the way... Yep. There we go. There we go. Easy. Oh, Snooks is 42. Snooks wants to learn Flame for a while. Yes, we're learning a Flame for a Yep. Which wish we've forgotten. Uh, quick attack. We don't need it anymore. Flame for is actually one of the most powerful, uh, powerful fire moves. Oh god! This is your rotation. If you don't do this rotation, you'll be in a shit of the what you are. Can you imagine if possible with that Thunder on Lugia? That would have been a, yeah, that would have been a one shot KO, but god that would have hurt. Pretty good at 50. Well, that's lucky for a, a good time then. Like it, obviously each class, class is gonna kill for different kind of sounds, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. I just one. like the idea of having a katana. Dude, I I like I like these chicks. Yeah. I they were like, we're gonna beat you up, okay? And B, he's like sitting here being like, ah, don't beat me up. That because you got rid of him? I think, well, it was meant to go to the right hand side, but now it's gone. Like, I like I liked how, like, you know, good that chick was. Like, they're like, we're gonna beat you to the ground. We're gonna knock you flat. Me, not getting knocked flat. Okay, we're gonna put Gyarados in the front row, okay? There we go, another picnicker. Okay, I'm gonna say one thing, okay? What's going on with all the Twitch drama, okay? Seriously, like, it, you know, it took one little, one little, one little, uh, one little scam on Slicker, and now everyone, all the top streamers are all hating each other, okay? TwitchCon NA is gonna be so awkward, it's not gonna be funny, by the way. Because, like, a lot of these streamers were going to stay with each other for TwitchCon NA. They're fucking not anymore. Ah, uh, we get a Surf here, because Surf, good. Oh, wow, we one-shot it with Surf. Okay. But, yeah, if you don't know, like, basically what happened was that, uh... So... People have been trying to get Slicker banned for conning people because he has a gambling addiction. And, uh, like, basically he conned people into lending him money so he could gamble it away. And he scammed, like, 500k from his viewers, mods, and other streamers, okay? And what happened was that, uh, 
they were talking about it and Miskiff mentioned that if that was the case, should we ban train wrecks for promoting Jolt Coin, which was a scam, uh, scam Bitcoin, scam, uh, uh, what is it? A scam, uh, cryptocurrency, okay, that he promoted. And he was saying that, you know, um, if that's the case, you know, then he should be banned. Now, the thing is, like, Train got really pissed off about it and basically said that Maya and Miskiff covered up sexual assault with, uh, It's Slick. And now, you know, the shit's being thrown everywhere, okay? About, like, relative dramas and stuff like that. And now they've banned, just an FYI, they've banned, uh... They've banned gambling on Twitch, okay? Just an FYI, okay? And I gotta say, that's a good decision. They should have always, not gambling, sorry, slots on Twitch. That's a good decision to buy them slots, because slots are, is... Slots is fucking soulless as shit. And yeah, he's, I gotta say right now, he's gonna lose a lot of money because he can't stream slots on uh, Twitch. What a convenient time to expose sexual assault, eh? Yeah, no shit. Oh, this is gonna get psychic. But like, you know, that that's the thing, okay? Like, that's the thing. And now like, it's all been about sexual assault and stuff like that. We got psychic, by the way. Sweet. Why couldn't he do it earlier? This is actually, I'm gonna tell you right now. I was actually gonna say that exact thing. If you knew about it, why didn't you say anything about it earlier? I'm gonna tell you right now, that's the exact same thought that crossed my mind, okay? The exact same thought, okay? I was like... Train's not getting flamed on too much for it because he's one of these, uh, he's one of those slot streamers that actually does give back and doesn't like hide behind shit. Okay, we're not going to use, uh, wait a second. What does extra, what's extrasensory? Let's see what extrasensory's, uh, AP is. Okay, cool. It's fine. It's 80, 80 versus 90. So, yep. Okay. But yeah, I actually, I actually was mentioning that as well. I'm like... It, it, why isn't Train getting talked about considering the fact he knew about this and he only pulled it up when he's getting flamed on? Like he's kept it as blackmail. I also said the exact same thing, by the way. And now, obviously, you know, Maya and Miskiff covered it up. And I gotta say, Miskiff's probably gonna get kicked out of OTK because of this. Just an FYI, if you have a Rotom, the elevator works, okay? I do not know how to get Rotom in this game. But the elevator works if you have Rotom. Okay. So funnily enough, you can uh, go this way to... So you can go this way to go to Lavender Town. And there's bikers, okay. So yeah. But yeah, you know, I did mention that, like, you know, if he, you know, like, a lot of people said he's very helpful behind the scenes. So I wouldn't know if he's, help, you know, helpful in that regard to know if he did help out the person, like, you know, that happened to, and they didn't want to go public. I can understand that. So yeah, but he, like I don't think he's getting flamed on too much. I think it's like a lot of the other gambling streamers who don't give anything back and make fuck tons of money. I remember seeing a funny comment about Toast saying the worst thing someone has said about him is is him not inviting a famous streamer to his Among Us lobby. Dude, I get to you right now. Like, um, like I gotta say something about Train right now. Like Train gotta realize that he's not really fun to play with on Among Us, okay? Because I've watched those Among Us sessions when he was playing with Valky Ray and stuff like that. He's not fun. Like, it, it, the, the lobby didn't feel fun with him in it, okay? He like sucks out all the fun in the air, okay? That's what I felt like, okay? That's what I felt like he did. 
like the lobbies weren't fun when he was in it. Okay, maybe it's my bias or anything like that. But it honestly felt like that, you know, he was sucking all the fun out of the air. And then he got really uh, pissed off that they wouldn't invite him back. And I'm like, oh, mate, like... Why should they invite you back? Like, I can say right now, I, I, I don't... I think I was the only one thinking that they weren't having fun. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like I, like, I can tell you right now, I just didn't get it. Like, I honestly didn't get it. I was just sitting there going, like, mate, like, he he, he tagged Ludwig, like, Kuno, and uh, I think it was Toast, saying, like, you know, oh, if you don't know Valkyrie, that's right. He's like, oh, it's, instead of just talking to them into it, if you can help me out by donating to my charity, he's like, yeah, they don't, they don't have to donate to your charity, bro. It, 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 that sort of attitude really pisses me off. It, it is, it, like I tell you right now, it's manipulative. Hey, Boris. Thank you for the raid, dude. Alright, I better stop talking about the drama then. Ah, my god. Copycat. So, that's it, babe, by the way. Drama alert channel? No, I was talking, I was talking about train wrecks. Like, there's, there's stuff that's going on at the moment. Okay, it, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. But like, like, we're going over really old hat with me talking about train wrecks and like toasted, uh, disguised toast and stuff like that. And he complained that he wasn't getting invited to the lobbies. And I'm like, there's a reason why you weren't getting invited to the lobbies, okay? And sometimes, you know, like I say, in other Among Us lobbies, train was pretty awesome. Like, train was pretty chill and stuff like that. But in the offline TV lobbies, train was like sucking out all the fun, man. <laughs> sucking out all the fun. Oh, man. I have no dark moves, by the way. I do have bug moves, though. I look at Twitter. I got to you right now, like... I gotta say right now, it, it feels like a lot of these people were holding all this drama in until they crossed them, okay? Until something was mentioned that hurt them, okay? So the moment, the moment that Misgive mentioned Jolt Coin was the moment Train got pissed off and started like unleashing all of his shit on uh on uh who was it? On Misgive. That's I don't think that's gonna be super effective because uh Bronzor is still not very good. Oh. Uh, oh. You know, you know I'm not gonna hit you with any contact moves, right? So it's just gonna be signal beam all the way. Just an FYI, he's too, taking static from uh, my Pokemon. So basically, if I hit it with a move that contacts them, like, you know, Thunder Punch, for example, or Strength, I'll get, I'll get paralyzed 100%. So I'll get rid of it via Signal Beam, which is a uh, normal, which is a different move. Hypno... Hypno is the most strangest Pokemon, by the way. Okay, that, that won't trigger static. Do a bit of damage there, but it won't trigger static. Ooh, crit. This should be super effective, and Hypno will take down the half, maybe? What is these people... I can tell you right now, skill swap is pretty useless, okay? Like, I tell you right now, skill swap's actually not really that good. Oh no, I hate this move. 
Please don't confuse. Oh no. Please don't hit yourself. Uh, yeah, swap out. Um, we'll swap out to Lugia. How's the games go today, man? I assume the games were done pretty quickly, given the fact that you raided me. Yeah, the games have gone really quickly, okay? That's gonna be not very effective. Yep. And we'll just send them, we'll just take them out with Waterfall. I like Lugia, like I like Lugia's like silhouette when you're using it. Like it's like it's happy, it's like a it's like a Latios and Latios, but super happy. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Oh, that's right, I could have learned Earthquake. I should have learned Earthquake for a Surge. Ooh. Yes, we're gonna learn Earthquake with uh, Typhlosion. Yes, we get really rid of Flame Wheel for Typhlosion. Well, actually, we can get rid of Lava Plume, I'm not sure. Yeah, we gotta get rid of Lava Plume. Because Flame Throw is better than Lava Plume. We can always relearn Lava Plume anyway. Okay, sweet. Shockwave can't be avoided. So I'm trying to figure out like moves that we can use. I think I have Shadow Claw, right? Yeah, I do. It's like Slash. Yep, never mind. Okay, Amp. Amp for us, we're gonna switch out for Gyarados, because I gotta say right now. We're gonna get absolutely punished if we keep going as is. There you go. So for this one, what you gotta do is that you don't want to use special moves. The reason why you want to do special moves is that Kadabra has very weak defense, okay? So Ice Fang will do a lot of damage, okay? Kadabra is a glass cannon. It has high speed, high special attack, okay? It has low defense. Very low defense, okay? Hence why that happened, okay? So Giraffric is a different type. Giraffric actually has... Semi good defense and semi good special. We'll use Ice Fang anyway. But also, Draft, we can learn Psychic very early on. Should hit Gyarados pretty hard. If we freeze it solid, we should be able to win this, okay? Ice Fang should do a bit of damage, but not too much. Compared to what, you know, Fingo did to Fingo. Uh, we'll use Surf, because it doesn't have that high special defense either. Oh, really? Okay, I thought it crit. I was like, really? But no, you got the 110% chance. This could take out Giraffaric, but I don't think it will. No, we're gonna switch out. We'll switch out to... Snooks. We'll use Flame Throw and that should take it out. Typhlosion should survive here. Oh, here. Oh, crap, that actually did a bit of damage. Uh, we use flame for to take it out. Should be enough. We heal that as well, but I don't think I'll heal too much yet for HP. There we go. I think I gotta give some hyper potions to my Pokemon. There we go. 
I gotta be careful with Gyarados because some of these psychic Pokemon generally do have uh, Thunder. And if Gyarados gets hit by Thunder, he's dead. There's uh, no, uh, there's no uh, ducking and weaving about this one, okay? If he gets hit by a lightning move, he is uh, taken out. Four times weakness, okay? Four times weakness. Weeping Bell's not going to see much use either because Weeping Bell can be one shot by all psychic Pokemon because it's poison. Okay, cool. Okay, Mr. Mime will put up light screen or reflect depending on the first move you use, okay? And funnily enough, he guessed correctly and put up the lights, put up the, uh, reflex. Which means Ice Fang will do no damage. Okay, so we'll use Surf and Stanless to put light screen up. Uh, dude. Mr. Mime, I'm gonna say Mr. Mime's probably one of the best Pokemon to just annoy you, okay? And there's a reason why. And also, did I mention that Mr. Mime's also psychic? This is the gen before Mr. Mime gets turned into uh, a fairy. Okay, uh, Gyarados could go down here because special attack got lowered. Oh. Must have been like by one or two HP. Okay, we use Signal Beam. Should take it out. It's super effective. Bug super effective against uh, Psychic. Um, jeez, Mr. Mom's got some seriously strong stats. There you go. Oh, I just realized the reason why it was so good is because uh, I had light screen. Okay, we use flamethrower, it'll take an execute one shot. Mmm, scrambled eggs, that's what I'm gonna say. Should take a one shot. Flamethrower has very high power. Yeah, there we go. And we should get a big health phrase out of it. Yeah, I was going to say, from uh, Shell Bill. Oh, joy, jeez. Well, that's another free, uh, free HP. Okay, let me check the uh, main channel. Stage is 26, which I can cast. I can cast both games. 27, which I can cast one game. 20th and 29th, which I can cast one game each. Okay. I'm trying to find a way to get out of here, by the way, but I, I'm not reliable in the one. Okay, never mind. Should I do know how to get out of here? This is the hilarious thing about the banner gambling, because it sucks to be train wrecks. Now he has addiction. There is no outlet to pay off from it. Yeah, I know. And dude, people have been saying, like, you know, you completely ruined Shame Trade Rex. And I'm like, mate, like. I think I was a bit honest about it. I'm like, y y um. You, like. You gotta realize the immora immorality of your fucking, uh, finger. Like, you gotta realize the immorality of your product, dude. 
Like, like I was just gonna say, like, dude, you're gonna like. I think even uh, I think even like Devin and Ash said it's like you gotta realize like how bad gambling is for everyone else. Like the thing is, like you know, gam like, the reason why gambling was really bad was because basically advertisers who want to advertise on Twitch would give Twitch less money because they could be advertised with gambling streams. Now people have now the gamblers themselves have gone. What about hot tub streamers? What about loot boxes? I don't think loot box. Yeah, I don't think you can compare loot boxes and uh, hot tub streamers compared to gambling, considering there's been studies done on gambling that basically say that a lot of people, like young people, lose their money to gambling and stuff like that. And the thing is, like, he's got enough money to live off for a very long time, okay? Like, if he's giving away 100k to people, stuff like that, he's got money to live off. He can probably live off until his retirement, okay? He can probably put all that money into into shares and that's it, be done with it. I got my daughter off Roblox because of loot boxes. But, like, as, as I said, like, you know, it's like... Addiction might take that money real quick if he doesn't take control of it. Yeah, exactly. I think it's gonna it's probably gonna take you know it away. But the thing is, like, you know, all his content has been for the last two years has been gambling streams. I I I gotta say, I do not fathom like if he's gonna complain about it, I do not fathom like why he's surprised. It's like, mate, like you've made fucking a bank compared to everyone else and at the cost of a lot of other streamers as well and don't say oh i've been helping people out it means fuck all when they get less from ads because advertisers pay less to twitch because they're being advertised with gambling while he's getting paid fucking millions to advertise steak but you, you can't cry foul about it when you're actually taking money away from everyone else because they get less from ads and stuff like that. Because Devin Nash was talking about it. The Devin, Na the Devin Nash defended Trainwreck, saying Trainwreck is a great guy. But it's like, he, you know, he gambles. You know, he doesn't like his gambling. Like, I don't like his gambling either. Is he going to lose his money? I don't think he is, to be honest. I, I don't think he's that fucking stupid. To be fair, it's probably a real abrupt and annoying way for his, like, income stream to end. But, dude, he's still... I guess right now, he's still richer than, like, um... He's still richer than, like, over 99.99% of Twitch. Okay, like, he's still richer than a lot of those people anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like, that's always rumored. It just doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I have no idea how to get to Sabrina, by the way, okay? So I'm gonna be trying random switches until we get to Sabrina. Now I get to you right now. Did I gamble when I was a kid? No. Now I get to join us and make real content. Dude, I get to you right now. The top, the top streamers, like XQC and stuff like that, They've never made any real content, okay? It's all just reacting to other people's content. That, that's what, like, okay, I remember when playing a Devin Nash video, okay? It's, it basically was a react content, okay? But he's talking about how, like, this top streamers, uh, like, all they do is just react to other people's content, okay? On stream. And it re-upload themselves on YouTube. And this includes Asmongold. It includes all the people who are supposedly clean and good are the biggest fucking con artists. <laughs> We put Amphi at the front head. Well, not con artists, but they like, you know, make money off other people's content, okay? Now everyone goes, oh, you know, if Aspen Gold didn't react to Josh Stripe Hayes, he wouldn't be famous. It's like, and? 
Do you think he gets like full ownership of his work because he re pauses and plays it on stream? Some people go, he even, he even makes, you know, he even, uh, what is it? He even makes good points about it. It's like, it doesn't matter. You should be playing his entire fucking video on stream. Oh, fucking car mine. I'm gonna get swept if I don't deal with this. Please confuse it, please confuse it, please confuse it, please confuse it, please confuse it. No. Well, there's a the full store. Signal Beam can't confuse a Pokemon, so that's why I'm just hoping it confuses it. Nah, no. okay, we just found the punch. That's gonna do a bit of damage. Oh, damn. I guess in the Lugia, I've got to like basically aero blast it. Okay, I thought aero blast missed. I was like. Okay, uh, fly, I suppose. Oh. Fuck, that's going to hurt Lugia a lot. Okay, special attack's got up two stages. Okay, this Fly's going to take it out, but I don't think it will. Fly is physical, though. Nah. Uh, mm. Do I have any normal Pokemon? I do have, uh, uh... I'm not sure if Martrek won't be affected by, uh, Shadow Ball. Never mind. I thought I was going to use Shadow Ball. But anyway, Martrek's, Martrek's definitely dead. We might be out of here, by the way. We might lose here. I stayed, always stayed away from gambling streams. Yeah, so did I, because I just didn't enjoy it. Like, is this what your like entire content is going to be like that one big win, and that's your all your content? Basically, you're only probably going to get one shot because of the uh, special, uh, because of Calm Mind, by the way. May get one shot because of Shadow Ball as well, because he's calm minded again since the first Shadow Ball. No. Oh, that is gonna make it a bit worse. Mr. Mime will either do Psychic immediately, or he will do a annoying moves. I got one revive. Oh crap! Get Amphi back up. Okay, just in case you're wondering, Mr. Mime will do Light Screen and Reflex. So what I'm gonna do is just get my Pokemon back up, ready to go during this time, because like. Even though it'll just lower Mr. Mime's uh, defense and stuff like that, found a real no point of doing anything. Why did he? I'm surprised he didn't put Reflect up. Gyarados is just a stool Pokemon, by the way. This is like the, the silly stuff about this game as well, is that they throw you into like level 50s against Sabrina. And none of your Pokemon are, like, even close to level 50, okay? Uh, we'll use, uh, or is, I think it's already used light, light screen, right? 
Okay, good. Yeah, it's already, already used flat screen, so I'll use fly instead. It may use reflect here because it knows I'm going to get hit. Well, it knows I was getting hit by, which is fly. There you go. Not very effective. So if it's an Alakazam, I may be able to one-shot with Aeroblast. I'm surprised this Mr. Mime doesn't have Reflect. Okay, there we go. It has no light screen, so Aeroblast can do a lot of damage here. There we go. Maybe it is Alakazam. Alakazam will be quicker than me, by the way. So, Aeroblast. Oh, there's a Reflect. Aeroblast is special, so it doesn't matter. Should do half its HP and damage. Yep. There's a Citrus Berry being used. Okay, so it's used it's used a uh, Reflect already. Let's do another Aeroblast. Ah, this could hurt a bit. This will probably do like 40 damage. Oh, only, only uh, 40 crit. And of course, I missed the Aeroblast. Yeah, I'm getting a bit worried. Not that if it crits, if it lowers my special defense. Another crit? Jesus Christ. If you keep getting crits like that, it's the future that you saw is going to be right. By the way, I want a Dragonflight Beta Key today, okay? Fucking epic. Okay. Should be Sabrina done. Dude, this Alakazam crit me three times, by the way. Nasty. There we go. Oh, so we crit on the uh, crit, even though we're gonna kill Alakazam anyway. I don't like this game already now. There we go. I think we should ban this game. I tried for what I have read. Fred lost, I just lost the locker room. That's why they're playing so hor horribly. I'm trying to think what do you get. I think you get Calm Mind from, uh from Sabrina. No skill swap. Okay, skill swap's useless. Okay, that's the 10th badge. Okay, we gotta go to uh, Erica at Celadon City next. Also, I have one mil left in transfer budget. I don't know who to spend it on. Lionel Messi, okay. You can get Messi for cheap one mil. Maybe a pack of chips. We get a lot of berries for my mother, okay? She Does she keep going to a like a, a berry store and just you know being like, oh I have to spend all my son's money on this. Like I guess say should my mother really be saving money despite the fact she's multiple times spent multiple mo my money on random berries? Okay, we're gonna get more revives. We had we only had one revive the entire time, which is uh, pretty uh, problematic. Just an FYI, by the way, when you're in Kanto, you cannot return a Johto until you do the power plant to get the power plant back online. If you don't get the power plant back online, you cannot do uh, Johto. Or you can't return to Johto. 
But I, I think you may be able to, depending on the map, but I'm not sure. But I'm very sure you can't return to Johto until you get the Magna Train up and running. Also, you can't listen to any of Kanto's radio shows until you get the radio card from Lavender City, or Lavender Town, and you can only get it from Lavender Town when you get the power plant back online. Okay, so you have to get the power plant back online to get back anywhere. This is how this game works, by the way, okay? It works exactly like Mafia. Yeah. Well, we're not going to be playing Lost Ark anyway today. Goalkeepers, I would, I would have no idea on who to get, to be honest. I'm trying to debate where I go next. Do I go to Lavender Town? Maybe I should go to Lavender Town unless it's blocked. I'm actually getting second back. I'm going for Zeta for 250k. Ooh, that's a steal. Okay, maybe I should go to Lavender Town because I can fly to Fingo. by the way, because my weeping bell is so low level and I can't get any higher. Okay, let's go take these bikers on. Don't ask me why I sludge bomb my coughing, okay? She <laughs> sludge bombed me back. Weaving Bill could be down here, actually. I took out a coughing with its own moves. Oh no. You're kidding me. How Did I get 110% hit and then get 90% hit? I'm going to have to put the EXP share back onto uh, Leaper Bell. I'm annoyed, by the way. Please freeze him. Please work. I actually Ice Fang froze, uh, I think it was Gyarados, which is huge in beating Lance. Can't make it. Yeah, hydro pumps. Just an FYI, hydro pumps is actually not a really good move. 
Like, it's got a high attack power, but 5 usage and also Hydro Pump is a high miss rate. Okay, let's get Reaping Bill revived and put it in the front row. If we even get some level, I'm gonna put a uh, finger on it. I was gonna say, my weeping bell is like, it's so meh. Okay, one Pokemon, and it's a Flareon. I think I've got, yeah, I was gonna say, I've got, okay. What we're gonna do is Revenge. Surprised to use the physical attack against a Matric. This Matric's got really high defense, unless it's a one-shot. This could be a one-hit, because Revenge is 140 attack if I get attacked first. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> there we go. Just for either your benefits of revenge. There you go. Okay. an accident. To be fair, it doesn't really matter because it would have been actually pretty good for muscle as well. I was actually meant to use it on Weeping Bell, but it doesn't really matter to be honest because Weeping Bell's going to get a lot of experience for uh, my other Pokemon. Coughing, ooh. Ooh, low 38. Okay, cool, sweet. Dragon Pulse to take it out. Uh, I, I guess they're right now. I could use Ice Fang against uh, Clay's Coughing. I have a feeling Ice Fang's gonna one shot it. I have a feeling. Oh. That might take out Gyarados. Because Gyarados is not on full HP. Okay. 
Is he, can't see it right now. Is he going to explosion my type lotion? I know that rhymed, but you know, I'm just, I'm just asking, I'm just asking, is he going to explosion my type lotion? I hope not. Okay, he does it because he dies instantly. Okay, let's see. A first choice from last year, a backup from the championships in Norway, and a Russian first choice from Zen, now third choice. Ooh. That's pretty good. taken out okay i tell you guys right now i hate explosion and self-destruct okay they always get me at times where like my pokemon have like little to no health okay always gets me at those fingers and i'm just like so annoyed by it like they always take me out when i have no hp so i can't really withstand like the Gar gyarados would have lived with probably like 25 hp if it was full hp and uh, my wonder kid strike is out for five weeks probably getting tackled and friendly damn Two seconds, guys. Get actually. Did he just dodge me? I don't know what's strong against poison. EG05. Wait, did EG lose to Cloud9? Or to be fair, I guess they EG put up a good fight to get put fight against Cloud9, because then Cloud9 should really kill them. Super Nerd Sounds would send out Muck. I guess say right now, should I just... Should I just send out the Lugia and just like be done with this fight? I could probably do that, just send out the Lugia and just take out the Muck. Ah, uh, that's special attack, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. I, oh, it's defense. Okay, we'll use Surf instead. Okay, Surf did no damage, so that's not good. We'll use Dragon Pulse instead. Do 
Dude, I get nervous every time Sludge Bomb is used because I'm just like, am, am I going to get poisoned? Because Sludge Bomb is a high poison rate. I gotta say, like, I don't think will EG go 0 and 5 though in Group D. Let's see who they who which group they're in. To be fair, I say like this is like probably like EG. It's understandable if they go 0 and 5, but at the same time, like you need to get some wins on the board. Oh, dude, that dust two is pretty meek. 16 five. Let's see. Let's see the reversing. No, I, I reckon they can win a few games in there. Like, you know, you got Movistar, you got Eternal Fire, you got Furia, you, got, you know, they could, they could win a few BO3s. Doable. If they don't, they're in fucking trouble, obviously. Gets it, I can put it just bluntly, if they don't, they're in trouble. I should get my Vikings jerseys this week. Dude, that's good. I think I've got mine somewhere, okay, somewhere. Okay. Okay, low 10 and C dot. Oh, these guys are from other games. I brought Harris to Smith and adjust. Oh, that's right. You did tell me about that. Okay, what we got here is that Gyarados can use Ice Fang on the C dot and it would be super effective. Machoke can revenge the low tad. I think C dot is a uh, steel type. We'll find out. If steel dot, is a C steel dot is a C type, we can use Vital Throw. This would be super effective, the Ice Fang, by the way. Because, ah, uh, it's Ice vs. Grass. Ah, uh, that's super effective against Machoke. There's no way he's using it against uh, Gyarados. Jeez, oh, it did no damage? Damn, that's rough. Do you see that did no damage to my main guy? Basically, low ten is water grass. Okay, jeez. Those two Pokemon are really weak. Like, an Ice Fang normally one shot it. I'm gonna say right now is extremely odd. Here we got Magnemite. Oh, we gotta switch this out. We gotta switch this out, okay? We 100% gotta switch this out. No way we're having a fucking Gyarados against this. If you guys do not know, Gyarados is a water flying electric one shot set, okay? Okay. Flame Throw should one shot it. There you go. I do, just if I do not want to keep a Gyarados out against it. Why I lost Dark pull out? Um, I have, like, basically I said, like, with lost Dark, like, if I don't get a static for Clown, which I don't have a static for Clown, that I was just going to quit. Because, like, I, I'll get to a point where, like, you know, I have real no static and I have real no way to progress my gear. So, yeah. And Clown comes out next week, and I don't have a static. Basically, a lot of the other statics are breaking apart as well. But also, it's going to get to the point where it's like... It's not, it's not going to be like a full pullout. It's going to get to the point where it's going to be like... Then what am I grinding for, basically? The problem is the JZ at Texas. The problem is it's Texas. Yeah, you might have to, might have to go a bit gun crazy in Texas, okay? Def definitely not being uh definitely not being uh, paranoid or anything like that okay texas is huge yeah texas is like basically isn't it like close to being size of australia or something like that
If you drive to, from Houston to El Paso, it's 10 hours of no stopping. Okay, so in other words, not the size of Australia, but still pretty big. Oh my god. Yeah, for a state, it's big. I think WA is the same thing as well. Ooh, that was uh, convenient. Alaska is bigger, yeah. Someone told me how big Alaska is. I think Scarge is in Alaska. And it was like, it takes him like four hours, four or five hours to get to uh, LA. And I'm like, what? Like, as in like travel. I'm like, what? I thought it was like, I thought it was like literally next door. It ain't. That makes like one third of Texas, is it? I guess so. I don't think it is. I think WA is quite big. Like Western Australia is quite big. Not Washington. Okay, Western Australia. I can't believe you one shot I get that uh, growler father. I think WA is Washington, right? Or have I got it wrong with the states? There you go. Okay, we got to Lavender Town. Let's see what we got here. It is, yep. So basically what we we're doing is that normally in this Pokemon game, you go... So basically Rock Tunnel leads you to the power plant. You need to switch the power plant back on, okay? And you need to go to Lavender Town to do it, okay? I'm very sure you need to go to Lavender Town to do it. If not, I fucked it up completely. You know more about the UD geography than most of Americans. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Probably a good thing. Yeah, just an FYI, this is actually the sad part. Mr. Fuji is Dr. Fuji, who made me too. Just remember that, okay? It's a compliment, our school system is sad. Yeah, your school system's out of shit, to be honest. So pretty much Mr. Fuji is uh, like, if he, their reference is that he made Mewtwo basically. I know a chick who swore that Bangkok was a country. Oh damn. Yeah, that, that is uh, that's a bit Thailand. So what you have to do is you have to turn on the power plant, I believe. I have no idea how to turn on the power plant, just FYI. I'm going off pure memory here. Ugh. Like I'm going off pure memory here, so I'm gonna have to Google it. I'm just I'm just thinking like, do you need a uh thingo? No, I was, thinking, I was thinking like basically I know you have to get a part from a specific area but I wasn't sure if you get the part before or afterwards. To be fair, I gotta say right now, I think like most foreign, some foreigners know more about America than Americans do at times. 
because like you know we meant to like we somehow know about the states and stuff like that we go here quagsire versus me I'm actually going to say ice, 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 ice. Tell me to go with things like Reddit to escape USPS, but if that makes sense, dude, man. Like, Australia Reddit? My poor brother, like, he, like, surfs there as well. He's like, Australia Reddit is just, like, is it America Reddit, okay? Oh, I forgot that Quagsire has water absorb. You know what? I'm just going to send out the Weeping Bell so it dies already. To be fair, I gotta say, like, we've, we've, like, there's politics on Reddit. Like, Reddit's the worst moderated site I've ever went to, okay? The dopamine fire hydrant? That's a good thing, okay? I guess I guess say right now, like I what you view is just tank memes and that's it, okay? Cause like our politics is just our politics just uh avoid like literally what is it? It just invades everywhere and like they break all the site rules and stuff like that. But the Reddit mods don't care because there's you know if they do anything to our politics then they're gonna get harassed. And like these people like have nothing to do with their lives so they can literally harass them all day. So that is that is literally literally Reddit. Okay, that is prime Reddit. Ah, uh, this is bugs. Oh no, we can't get two for here. There you go. Like, literally, all I, all I do is just watch dank memes and that's it. Because, like, that's the only part of the site where, like, some people try to avoid politics and try to take politics out, but some people always try to drag it in. Yeah. It's leading the people to be more depressed and diagnosed with things with ADHD. Probably. Overloads a lot of people. I think I only use it. I can't get to right now. I probably use the internet too much for like social media, for like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I know there's TikTok and stuff like that, but I don't want to give like the Chinese government all my information. Okay. No, 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 not a fan of that one. Okay, not a fan of giving the Chinese government all my information. Okay. Big dopamine spikes make you fat, fall below baseline dopamine. It's one of the reasons people have less drive. You talk about like sexual drive and stuff like that. Because they did talk about that with porn addiction as well, where people have less drive overall. No motivation. This also could be me as well. I'm seeing way too much of me in this. To be fair, I don't, I'm not. I'm not sure. No Lovato. Oh, not Lovato. Okay. Video games are bad. Dopamine hydro. Uh, dopamine hydro. By the way, yeah, I know. That's why I said I really see it myself. I probably need to like not play video games, but too late now. Because, like, uh, to be fair, though, I've been more motivated to go to the gym and stuff like that. I'm trying to think about for myself, like, you know, sometimes I'm not motivated to do things because of video games. But, you know, since I've been going to the gym a lot, doing a treadmill, going walking, stuff like that. Maybe. I don't know. Lost Ark is a big dopamine, uh, dopamine thing as well. I mean, don't, don't not do it. Do it less than match more at your time more. Well. 
I, I, to be fair though, like I guess say right now, I'm weaning myself of Lost Ark because like the only thing with Lost Ark is like, you know, every time it's 6, 7, 8 p.m. I get a bit anxious if I'm not there on time because of the uh, time quest and stuff like that. So that's why I've been weaning myself off it as well. Oh god. To be fair, it's going to get worse with WoW with Wrath. To be fair with Wrath, I'm not going to be too worried about it. I already know, like, you know, if you can only if I can only play like three or four hours a day, I'm not gonna be like top one percent. This is rock climb, by the way. You do not get rock climb until a lot later in the game. Wait, how do I get up? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I didn't come into one of my first rooms to try to get you to quit. <laughs> See, the people who have said this before, like, I've had a lot of self-help people say, like, you know, video gaming is not a career, okay? Like, they were actually talking about it. Like, you know, if you're playing video games on stream and not making a lot of money, it is not a career. But actually, like, you know, like, a lot of things I could do a lot better as well. Like, I could, like, you know, just advertise financial advice, but the problem is the financial advice industry is so heavily regulated that anything I say could be, like, troublesome from a lawyer standpoint. Or from a from this from an advisor stand not from a, a licensee standpoint. Like some guy on YouTube channels like, oh do you do like financial advice channels and another channel? I'm like, nah, I don't. And like the financial planning industry is super regulated to the point where like if I did that, I'm in trouble. Like I could get in trouble if I say anything wrong. I'm not sure if that's a uh... I don't want to do for much. I think elitists are everywhere. Oh, dude, I can tell you right now, like, dude, I can tell you right now, the biggest issue of Lost Ark sometimes is the fucking the gatekeeping. Electronic streams? Okay, yep. I guess the elite, I guess the elitists aren't just in the fucking electronic streams. They're all over Lost Ark too. Like, this is another reason why I was thinking of quitting Lost Ark is because, like, my alts wouldn't get into runs because they weren't, like, you know, like, 4x3 at 1430 eye level, which nobody was at 1403 eye level. Like at the eye level that's required for content. And they were rejecting a lot of people for, uh, what is it, uh, for Vicus, no, for Argos because they weren't 1430. And I was sitting there going, like, mate, like, the content's 1400. Like, it's super dead easy. Like, even at 1400. There's actually one guy, like, we, we kicked him from the raid group because he didn't use battle items and he was 2x3. And, like, sitting there going, mate, if you're 2x3 and not using battle items, you're going to get kicked, okay? Like, you're going to get kicked on the raid. If you're not, you know, contributing, either by high DPS or, like, throwing battle items, you are going to get booted. And the guy's like, why did I get booted? It's like, mate, you weren't doing, like, you came into a raid completely unprepared and expect everyone to carry you. It's like, mate, like... Ain't gonna happen, unfortunately. Oh crap, I just realized it's almost time it's almost time for the CSGO game. Sorry guys, if you guys came in for CSGO game, I didn't realize that it was close to time. I was gonna do some CSGO casting by the way. Do you wanna be carried in games what he says? Yeah, I like I like I think I think a lot of people have seen this. Like sometimes I'm alright getting carried at the start. But if I'm not improving, I'm not happy with myself, okay? Like, I'm sitting there going, like, you know, if I'm not improving significantly, I'm not happy with myself, okay? At all. Like, I'm okay at the start of, you know, getting carried if I'm learning and stuff like that. But if I'm not, like, you know, I can learn, obviously, by being good, still being good at it. But if I'm not significantly getting better or improving, I'm not happy with myself. It's, like, not good enough to her. You always want to get you always want to get better at things that you are doing basically. What the fuck? Do you know one thing I gotta learn? I gotta learn cooking, okay? Probably my biggest Achilles heel is that I don't cook. I don't have the motivation to cook. And I just don't have the patience to cook. Like I can cook like pasta and stuff like that, and sausages and meats like that. I know how long I need to cook them for. I just don't, because I just don't, like, I, 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 I don't know. And also, to be fair though, I'm actually, you know, even though I hate gardening, 
I've been actually, you know, wanting to get a get a few tree a bonsai tree or like a little like curb stuff to like manage. Which is really strange because I fucking hate gardening when I was at my mom's place. Um I just can't believe. Jetson F4I is a public holiday tomorrow. That's why I can cast a game today. Thursday is a public holiday. For some reason, I have to be up at 8.30, but I don't know why I have to be up at 8.30. Actually, I don't have to be up at 8.30. Can we go out? Okay, we can go out. Sweet. Look at me just running away from every single Pokemon battle. I've heard my streams today to my gaming fix. I know a lot of people do this. Some people find this weird as well when people watch streams, watch other people play games. Like, someone thought I was weird for doing that. I'm like, mate, like, you know, you can just chill, like, study, listen to someone streaming in the background. And they thought it was weird giving these people money and stuff like that as well. Oh, shit, there's a lot of... That's an FYI, by the way. Uh, basically, we'll be saving it here shortly. Because I'm going to switch to CSGO stuff shortly. I'll get to the power plant, and then we'll switch it up. I thought I caught Goldine. Okay. We'll catch Goldine. I'm starting to I'm starting to realize why I didn't catch Goldine. Starting to slowly realize why I didn't catch Goldine, okay? You know how you just realize why it's like, you know, you A. Is this why? It keeps popping up pop Pokeballs. There we go. There we go. What else happened? Oh, by the way, uh, well, politics, politics, politics. Does anything happen in politics? I don't think anything did happen in politics. Anyway, the power plant's down here. I'm not sure if Zapdos is still in the power plant. I'm trying to remember, is Zapdos still in the power plant? Martha's been, yeah, already that, yeah. That is gonna turn into an interesting little stunt. I can't, I can't believe they did that, by the way. I can't believe the Republicans did that. That was the most ballsiest thing. I'm trying to think, is Zapdos here or not? Okay. Okay, Zapdos isn't here. What's Oak calling me for? They had to amount so quick. Oh, dude, man. Like... Okay. I was gonna say... What is it?
yeah. We're gonna save it here, by the way. They had them out so quick. I can tell you right now, like... It's really obvious from the start that the refugees, like, refugees stuff like that are political pawns, okay? It's really sad. They are political, they are part of a, you know, 